In this video, we're going to be discussing how to submit an assignment and then some of the basics around viewing your assignment after your instructor has provided grading and feedback. Submitting an assignment is easy. Go to the assignment that you would like to submit your work for. Press on Submit an Assignment. For this assignment, we're expected to submit a file upload, so a file upload will be provided. I'm going to choose a file, and I can see which file I've uploaded by hovering over the file I've uploaded. It says, here is my test assignment. It's always smart to hover over it to make sure you've submitted the right assignment. If you want to mention any comments here, you can. And then check off this box. This assignment submission is my own original work. This means that you have made sure to include any reference material and that all work is your own. Then all you need to do is submit the assignment. And it's that easy. You'll see over here that you've turned it in when you turned it in, and you'll see your submission details right here. If for some reason you realize that you have not uploaded the correct version or you feel like you needed to create an updated version of your assignment and it is before the deadline, you can always resubmit your assignment. I have likely now been alerted that the grade for the assignment I just submitted has been released. I will see that I have a new grade over here on my left-hand side menu. Let's press on that. Here I'll see that I've received a grade. I've received a grade of 9 out of 10. I would like to know a little bit more about my grade and why I received the score that I did. So I'll click here on my assignments. There are a few different things that I can do. F click here for view feedback. If your instructor has provided written feedback, such as track changes on your assignment, you'll be able to view those there. You can X that out. If there are some general comments, you can see those here. And then I want to view specifically the rubric and maybe any comments that were left in the rubric since we previously discussed that the, a rubric, if an instructor is using that, will likely be the criteria based upon the grade. I can see here that my instructor has provided me the breakdown of why I received a 9 out of 10. I have comments from my instructor, and then I have the grades that I received per each criteria, totaling 9 points. That's all for now on how to submit an assignment, and then how to view the submission details.